All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I am, of course, Josh Williams. And I'm Ryan Murphy. And today we are continuing our anniversary specials of the Disney Channel original movies, and we are giving you our review of Miracle in Lane 2. Now, for for the most notable actors and actresses, Ryan, why don't you go ahead and tell them who's in this? Well, I mean, it's got... Um... Frankie Muniz is, is obviously the most the most yep. the, the biggest actor in it. Also, Patrick uh, Levis, I think it's pronounced, uh, who's well known to fans of the Disney Channel from back in the day because he was, of course, in Brink and on So Weird. So, oh yeah, I forgot he's on So Weird. Oh yeah, man, like he was a Disney Channel guy. Um, mm-hmm. So, and also the dad in this movie, Rick Rossovich, uh, has been in a couple of things. He was in Top Gun. He was one of the pilots, mm-hmm. and also he was in the Terminator, the first Terminator. He was, was? the boyfriend of the roommate that got killed. Oh, really? Her roommate and her boyfriend, yeah, get <laughs> killed. It's like, it's a horror movie. They have sex and then they get killed. Yeah, that's that's the dad in this movie, so. A fun little nod I saw was, uh, well, not a nod, but uh, the father and even Stevens is in this too. He's like the, uh, the yeah. one of the guys who calls, like, the races. I thought that was kind of cool. And also another really tremendous character actor. I don't know his name because he's total character actor. Uh, but the guy who plays the, um, I'm looking it up right now. Um, uh, the guy who plays the father of the girl, who's his competitor, who cheats, the father cheats. That uh-huh. guy's done tons of stuff. I'm checking. Oh yeah, yeah. So, but let me uh, see here. His name, actually, I haven't pulled up here. I think it's Joel Miller. Joel McKinnon, Joel Joel McKinnon, McKinnon Miller. Miller. Yes. Yep. Big, big character actor. You've probably seen yeah, him. No. So, but um, <clears throat> Josh, what'd you, what'd you think of the movie overall? You know. Honestly, I felt like, given the fact that this is based on a true story, which I actually forgot about that until I watched till the end, I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, I completely spaced that this is based on a true story. Um, I wish they'd have maybe taken a little more seriously, I guess, for it being based on a true story. I mean, no, it's a Disney Channel original movie. They're going to add some, some light to it and some jokes and everything like that. But... Given the subject material, I wish they were taken a little more seriously than they did. Still, given I loved actually my favorite part is probably the beginning, where it's I love the subtle um, message of you know just when you're a kid you're really trying to find yourself, doing whatever you can to feel that self importance and self gratitude of doing something and achieving something, and especially with someone in a wheelchair, it can be very difficult. And I just loved how he's going from thing to thing, just trying to find something to be good at. And he's having trouble, and eventually he finds uh, soapbox racing. So that was really my favorite part. Now, it co- of course goes through all the traditional tropes of you know ups and downs with the family and the and the racing and stuff like that. But it has I I still thought it had a good payoff. I just wish it was like I would love to see this actually not necessarily being like a big studio budget film or maybe just like even an independent film being remade of this subject matter of this person. Who went through this? Because I actually I loved, you know, I loved the story and of uh, this per- of this kid uh, facing adversity and doing something he loves and finding something he loves. So that that was my take. What what did you think though? I mean, I thought it was <clears throat> it's fine for what it is. I don't. I mean, I, I think it's about the best version of itself. It's it's, um, yeah, it's it's a cute little movie about the it's about soapbox racing. So I don't think it was ever ever going to be. Um, no, like no. super dramatic. I mean, obviously, there's some very serious subject matter in the fact that this, the, the disease that this child has. But I mean, like, I, I, I don't really know what you mean by some of the stuff where it wasn't serious. I thought it was serious when it needed to be and, and just had some jokes along the way. Sure. But I don't think it, I don't think it's I don't think it's ever destined to be like a like a, you know, Oscar winning film. But well, no, I liked it. Yeah. I'm, what I meant by serious, I just meant like given the subject matter in it. I wish they could have taken it like the color of friendship serious. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's me. I, I like they took they took it as serious as they could, but I feel like it could have done better. Mm-hmm. That make, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's interesting because this is based on a true story, but it's also I'm, you know, fairly certain there's a there's a lot of liberties taken here. There's certain things that I feel mm-hmm. like obviously were over. Something like them may have happened, but they were sort of more played, more dramatized in the film, and they happened in a more dramatic way. Um, like the scene where there's a whole bunch of reporters waiting outside the the door. I thought that was mm-hmm. that probably didn't happen quite in that way, but yeah, <laughs> um, it's a it's it's a good movie. I think it's it's a it's a good good thing for kids to know that you know there, there's there's always something for them. 
um, which you don't have to be in a wheelchair to be wondering about that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, interesting fact that I read was that this movie was made that the, the Yoder family, who this is based on, actually went to the same church. I believe it was a Mennonite church that the screenwriters went to, and that's where they got the idea. And there really? is, I, I don't want to call this a Christian movie at all, but there is obviously uh, traces of, of being a, a based in faith because it's obviously yeah. talking to God throughout the movie. Um, but yeah, it's just a little interesting fact I learned, but it's good. I like it. I, I think it's uh, about the best version of itself. And I like the fact that uh, Frankie Muniz and Patrick, I mean, the, the brother is, is maybe the best part of this movie and the scenes with him. That people think... still talk about. I've heard this oh, day yeah. talking about it. So. Yeah, definitely. I got a question. Well, can we talk about spoilers? This you think? Because it's been out for a while, so I think it's people been out are for twenty years. So. Yeah, you know. I don't know. I just stop, uh, stop listening at this point. Because spoiler, like, go ahead. I guess. But I just got a question for you because after rewatching it, at the end, mm-hmm. when he talks to you know the guy who's dead, and then he opens, shows him the gates of heaven. Is that mm-hmm. like symbolizing he died? No, he's or still alive. Fashion? Okay, because I was like, did he like just die and we didn't realize it? Like I, I was just there watching because like to me, symbolist, um, symbolically, it would sim, you know it would make me think that he died and went into heaven and so on and so forth. But yeah. uh, okay, I just I was just curious if that uh, what your take was on it. And I think the last thing for me is that I was probably a, the bad part for me was, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be a quote unquote hot take or whatnot for people who enjoy this type of movies or enjoy this actor but i just wasn't a fan of frankie muniz in it <laughs> i actually don't like him in general i didn't even like him in malcolm in the middle i just don't really like him i never i never even as a kid didn't like him as an actor i didn't, don't think he's that he wasn't that good and i just wish you know maybe they could have picked somebody else and it would have been better but who knows it's still a disney channel original movie for what it was like you said it was good i liked it, it i had a good message to it for a disney channel original movie i'd give it a seven out of ten yeah, I'd give it probably the same. <clears throat> well, all right, guys. I guess I'll do it. It was nice, short, and sweet. I mean, if you guys want to check it out, it's on Disney+. Plus. There's not much going on during this uh, crisis, so go ahead and check it out. You kind of relive your childhood a little bit. It's better uh, than it's better than Up, Up, and Away. And oh, it's God, also, yeah. It's also way better than our next movie we're reviewing. Do you know what the next one is, Josh? No, you're the one who keeps control of the, the schedule, my friend. So what do we got? What have the, the fans uh-huh. got to look forward to next? Oh God! Stepsister from Planet Weird. Oh, is that the one? Hang on. Yeah, next stop up and away is probably the the. (laughs) We're almost reviewing it now. Spoiler for our review, but next up, next stop up and away. That was always the one I thought was really dumb. So I guess. Hang on. I I gotta. Next time. Yeah, it's where the (laughs) sister is is an alien. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my God, this is so stupid. You're gonna make me watch this crap. (laughs) All right, I guess. I think that does it for our review, but we'll do one. We'll just yeah, kind of, we'll do one. All right, just guys. say the same thing. So. <laughs> That'll do it for our just say for this review. Uh, what did you guys think of the movie? What did you guys think of our review? Jump in the comments. Let us know. Uh, be lucky. Ha- glad to share your thoughts. And uh, also, if you guys wish to watch, please like, subscribe to the channel, so you can receive more of our various content in the future. And also like us on Facebook, Twitter, and start us. The links are in the description below, as always. And lastly, I want Ryan to kind of. Do a little promotion we were talking about before we came on here today. Uh, Ryan, tell the fan, tell the guys what you guys, tell everybody what you have going on right now and how they can support it. Uh, uh, thanks for that. I <laughs> uh, wasn't You're expecting right. that. Uh, I'm working totally on, on the a, spot. <laughs> <laughs> working on a script for a, uh, a comic book series, crowdfunded comic book series, not for profit because it's copyrighted. It's a fan comic book equivalent of a fan film. It's Disney versus Zombies. Um, so the plan is ultimately, I guess, just give it away. You know, fan films are just put on YouTube. This is just sort of, I guess, going to give it away, but uh, it's crowdfunded. So I have someone working on the promotional artwork right now. So right now, if you go to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash, uh, patreon.com slash Disney versus zombies, it's literally just a picture of the, our, uh, logo right now, Antar Productions. Um, but, uh, hopefully we'll get the artwork, the first promotional artwork on there soon and start generating some interest. Um, something I think is a really cool idea. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm excited to actually read it. And guys, check out, if you guys want to support that at all, please, uh, his link will be in the description box below as well. But that'll do it for today. Again, I'm Josh Williams, and I'm Ryan Murphy. And thank you for keeping it real with real time.